guys. I'm Rena Bacone, the founder of Passion Fit, and I'm so excited to bring you my third workout video series for YouTube, which is a total body sculpt workout. I'm also very fortunate to have some of my dearest friends and family here working out with me today. For our workout today, all you're gonna need is a towel, an exercise mat, and some water. We're not gonna be using any equipment, just our own body weight. So get ready to work your body from head to toe and have a great time. All right, guys, we're gonna get into our warm up. So I want you guys to give me a big inhale up and exhale down. Good job. And inhale up again and exhale down. Give me two more like this. Big inhale up, exhale it out, last one. Good job. And bring it down and you're just gonna give me a shoulder roll back on the left and right. Good. Couple more like this. Four, three, open up that chest, rotate that shoulder and you're gonna give me a full arm circle back. So the right arm goes all the way around. Good job. And bring that left arm all the way around. Couple more like this. Right arm back and left. Give me two more. Full arm rotation, stretching out that upper body. And now we're gonna lunge it out side to side. So you're gonna take it to the right and the left. Arms come up and over. Tuck in your core. Make sure that your knee's not coming over your toes. Good, and give me a nice reach. Stretching out that upper body. Couple more like this, good job guys. Here's four, three. We're gonna get into a warrior two pose. We're gonna lunge next to the right side. So your arms are gonna come out to the side, knees and toes are facing in the same direction. Core is engaged and tucked in. And you're gonna rest that right arm on your right thigh and bring that left arm over. Good, give me a nice stretch. Feel a great stretch in the side body. Beautiful, hold it here. And you're gonna come back up and we're gonna do the same thing on the left side. So give me a nice lunge to the left, tucking in that core, knees and toes facing in the same direction once again. Bring that left arm down and the right arm comes up overhead. Nice side body reach here. And hold it for four, three, two, and one. Good job, come up, bring your feet together. And we're just gonna bring one knee up at a time, right knee and left knee. So I want you to stand up nice and tall. Good, keep that torso up there and bring your knee up to your chest. Couple more like this. Here's four, nice job. Three, two, and we're gonna lunge back with that right leg into a warrior one pose. So make sure that that front knee doesn't come over your toe. Your arms reach up nice and high towards the ceiling, tucking in that core, 90 degree angle with that front leg, making sure that knee doesn't come over your toe. And hold it here. And we're gonna sit back now into the right hip, popping your front toes up on that left leg. Core is still engaged and stretching out that hamstring and that calf muscle. Very nice, hold it here. Good, couple more counts. And bring your feet back together and the left foot comes behind. Nice deep lunge. Good, stretching out that lower body, arms come up overhead. Beautiful, hold it here for a couple more counts. Good job, keep breathing. And now let's sit back into that left hip, popping up the front right toe. Good, sit back, stretching out that right leg. And give me a big inhale up, feet together. And exhale down, reach for your toes. Good job, tuck in that core. And slowly roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Shoulders back, give me one more to wrap up our warm up here. Inhale up, and exhale down. And come down, reach for your toes. Getting a nice stretch in the back of the leg and slowly roll it up and shoulders back. Great job, everybody. That was our warm up, and we'll be heading into our first interval next. See you soon. All right, we're heading into our first interval where we're gonna be working on the lower body. So everyone point your knees and toes outward. We're gonna be starting with some plie squats in four, three, Two arms are gonna come up. So you're gonna squat down and up. Down and up, good job. Make sure that you're pointing your bottom back like you're sitting into a chair. Your core is tucked in nice and tight and those arms are coming up above your heart. Good. Plie squat, down and up. Lift and lower. Nice job everyone, keep it up. Good, arms up and down. Good, we're working the quadriceps, the inner thighs. Nice job. Down and up. Give me four more like this. Four, three, good. 
two, we're gonna go down into pulsing squats next. So your hands come to chest level and you're just gonna pulse down. So we're honing in a little bit deeper. Good, on those inner thighs and quadriceps. You might start to feel a little bit of a burn. Try to fight through it. Just keep working, try to get comfortable with that fatigue. Tuck in the core and that'll give you a little more energy. Good, keep pulsing down. Eight more like this, here we go. It's eight, seven, six. Keep breathing, last four, three. Now pop up your right heel and then your left, working the calf muscle. Good, so it's left and right, heels up. You're just rolling onto the balls of your feet. Good, we're really working on those calves. Good, couple more like this. Here's four, three, two, and we're gonna take it from the top, squatting it down and up, plie squats. Nice job. This is your breather, guys. When we come up, you feel a bit of relief in those legs. You're doing great. Keep it up, girls. My girls are working hard back there. Nice job. Four more like this. Here's four, good. Three, nice deep squat, two, and let's pulse it once again, hands out to chest level. Get low, good. Let's work those legs. Try to get as low to the ground as you feel comfortable. Nice work. Keep pulsing, you've got this guys, keep it up. Down, woo! Couple more like this. Here's eight, seven, you can do this. Last four, three. Pop up those heels, here we go, it's right and left. Good job, keep it going. Working the calf muscles. Left, right. Good job. Here's four, three, two, and one. And shake it out. Nice job, you guys. Hope you enjoyed that first interval. We'll be heading into the second interval next where we'll be honing in on the midsection. See you soon. All right, guys, we are moving into our second interval where we're gonna be focusing on the core and the obliques as well as the waistline. So we're gonna start by staying back in that plie squat that we were in in the last interval, knees and toes facing outward, hands are out to the side and core is engaged. And we're just gonna start by isolating each muscle group to the right and the left. Good, so you're just taking it side to side and you want to avoid using your upper body to move you from side to side as well as your lower body. Your upper and lower body are just there for support and you're using your waistline and your midsection to do all the work. So really squeeze that core and isolate those muscles and move it from side to side. Good, nice and slow to start. And then we're gonna pick up the pace. So take it left and right. Good job. Keep squeezing. Good, couple more like this. And we're gonna take it to double time next. Good, here we go. Left and right, double time. Good, we're working the legs as well by standing in that plie squat. Good, that waistline is working. Isolating that midsection once again. Going a little bit faster though. Eight more like this. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and now we're gonna just take it over to the right side. It's right, pulsing, um, pulsing movements to the right. Good job. Keep squeezing. Good, you're really gonna start to feel it on that right side of your waistline. Once again, try to embrace the fatigue. Keep breathing for that energy. Good. And now let's take it over just to the left side. Good, pulse it out. Squeeze. Very nice. You guys are doing awesome. Keep up the good work. Very good, keep it up. Eight more like this, just to the left. Here's eight, seven, six, five, last four. And we're gonna come back to the center and rejigger ourselves here. And now we're gonna work the upper body. So point your palms to the back and you're just gonna press those arms back as if you're in the pool or the ocean and you're working against the resistance of the water. Good, keep pushing back. You're gonna feel this in your shoulders and the front of the arm. Good, core is engaged. Pushing those arms back. Keep it up, guys. You're doing great. Here's eight, seven, six, five, and four. Now we're gonna push to the front. We're gonna work the chest. 
the pectoral muscles. Good. So now just change your focus. Stay in that deep squat to work the leg. Keep breathing, you're doing great. Last four, three, two, and one. Nice job, everybody. Shake out those arms, and we'll be back with our next interval, where we'll be doing some bicep curls and squats. See you soon. Hey guys, we are heading into our third interval. We are gonna be working on some squats and bicep curls. So let's start by facing our knees and toes forward. You're gonna tuck in your core. You're gonna bring your arms all the way around for a full range of motion, and then you're gonna come back into a nice bicep curl. So get ready. We're gonna start squatting. Here we go, right now. Bring it down and around. Bicep curl and down, good. So once again, watch the placement of your knees. You always wanna make sure that they don't come over your toes. Good. And you're trying to get down into that squat as deeply as you can, as if you were about to sit into a chair. Good. When you're doing your bicep curls, make sure that your elbows are tucked in close to your torso. And you can always do this exercise with weights. We're obviously doing all of our intervals today without weights because you can definitely use your own body weight. But that is another option if you want a little bit more intensity. Good job. Keep it up. All the way around. Two more like this. Full range of motion and bicep curl. Around. Good. And now we're going to go into pulsing squats. You're going to cross that right arm over the left and vice versa. Good, so take it down, crossing right and left. Good, pumping those arms, getting that squat down a little bit deeper. You're gonna feel this in the front of the quadriceps, the front of the thigh, which is a little bit different from what we've done in the last two intervals, where we honed in on the inner thighs. Good, keep going. Four more like this. Here's four, good job, keep breathing. You've got this, two more. And now squat and bring those arms around once again. Good, bicep curl. Nice work, you guys. You guys are all doing great. Keep that energy up. Have fun, most importantly. Good, and feel your body sculpting from head to toe, all the way around and down. You've got it. Good. Two more like this, around. And bicep curl. One more. And let's pulse this squat once again. Cross those arms, right and left. Good, challenge yourself if you can. Get a little bit deeper if you're able to do that with your legs. Watch those knees though. Try to form a 90 degree angle with those legs. Nice job, cross, cross. Keep it up, keep breathing. Eight more like this. Here's eight, seven, six, five, last four. Let's take it from the top one more time. Bring it all the way, good. Bicep curl, good, full range. Give me two more like this, around. Bicep curl last time, and last bicep curl. Good job, everybody. Shake it out, you guys are doing so well. I'm so proud of all of you. All right, that wraps up our third interval. We'll be heading into the fourth interval next, where we're gonna hone in on the glutes and the side of the thighs. See you soon. All right, guys, we are heading into our fourth interval. You guys have been doing great. We are now gonna head into working on our glutes and our outer thighs. So we're gonna start with our feet and our knees together. You're gonna bend your knees, hands are clasped out in front, and we're gonna extend our right leg out first with our toe pointed. And you're just gonna lift it up and down. So lifting that leg, good job. The knee on your standing leg is slightly bent, and you're really engaging your core for stability. Good, you should be feeling this all through the back of the leg and the gluteus maximus as well as the outer thigh. Good job. Lift and lower, up and down, good. If you feel like you're gonna lose your balance, just engage that core further. That'll give you the stability that you need. Good job, lift it up and down, good. Point that foot towards the front of the room. Shoelaces should be pointing towards the front. Couple more like this. Here's four, three, two. Now double time, you're gonna lift it up every time. Good, keep squeezing that core. The leg doesn't have to come up quite as high on this one. Good, you're gonna feel this. So again, embrace that burn, embrace that fatigue. 
Keep your breath flowing. Eight more like this. Here's eight, seven, six, five. Good job. Last four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Good job, everybody. You're doing great. We're going to now bring our left leg out. So knees and feet together once again. Hands out in front. Point that toe on that left foot. Good. In four, three, two, and one. Here we go. Lift it up and down. Good. Left leg rises. Good. Now the right leg is slightly bent. You're still squeezing that core. Good job. Lift and lower. You guys are doing awesome. Keep up the good work. Keep working hard. Give me everything you've got. Lift and lower. Good. Couple more. Get that leg up just as high as you feel comfortable. That's going to be different for everybody. So find whatever is most comfortable for you. Good job. Lift and lower. Good. Four more like this. Four. Three. Nice job. We're going to cut this movement in half. Double time. Here we go. Lift. Lift. Keep squeezing that core. Standing leg is bent. Good. I know it's burning. You can do this, though. Good job. Keep it up. Nice. Good. Eight more like this. Here's eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. All right, we're going to now hone in on the back of the leg. So I want you to have your feet together to start. Bring that right leg behind you. Toe is pointed. Standing knee is bent. Arms are out to the side. Good job. And now we're just going to lift and lower to the back. Lift it up and down. Keep squeezing that core for balance. And just make sure that your hips are both facing square to the front. Lift and lower. Very nice. The leg doesn't have to come up too high. Just find your comfort zone and lift as high as you can. Good job, guys. Lift it up. Eight. Good job. Seven. Six. And five. Give me four more like this. Good job. Three more. Two. And one. Let's switch legs right away. Bring that left leg behind you. Get positioned and lift and lower. Take it up and down. Again, watch those hips. Keep them square to the front. Good. Keep squeezing that core. Balancing with your arms out from side to side. Lift and lower. Good. Eight more on this side. Here's eight. Good. Seven. Keep breathing. Six. Good. Feel that fatigue. Embrace it. Three more. Good job. Last two. And one. Nice job, everyone. Arms down. Shake it out. All right, we are heading into our last standing interval, our fifth interval, where we'll be doing some standing core work. So we'll see you soon. All right, everyone, hope you are having a great workout with us. We are having so much fun over here. We're heading into our fifth interval, which will be the last one that we're doing standing up, and then we'll be heading to our mats. So this one is all standing core work. So we're gonna start by bringing our right knee into our chest. Our arms are gonna come up and you're just gonna pull your knee in, elbow to knee, using the core to do all the work. So you're gonna bring it in and out. We're gonna start slow first, just to get used to the move. Good. So try to think of keeping your whole body stable and the core is really what's allowing you to bring that knee up into your chest. Good job. So your arms are there for support but you're not using them for momentum. We're gonna pick up the pace now, double time. So pull it in every time. Keep squeezing that core, good. Bring that knee into your chest. If you feel a little bit unstable, squeeze the core a little bit more for balance. So this is balance work just as much as it's standing core work. Good job. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four more. Good, last two and one, shake it out. All right, we're gonna go right to the other side. So the left knee is now gonna come into the chest. So arms are overhead, single time. Pull it in and out. Good, just get comfortable on this side. And then we're gonna pick up the pace once again. So find your stable place. One side of your body may be less stable than the other, that's very normal. So just try to compensate by really engaging that core if you're on a less stable side. Good job. Four more like this. Four, three, nice work you guys. Two, let's cut this movement in half right here. Pull it in, knee to chest every time. Good, keep breathing, 
Keep that energy level up. Good. Pull it in every time. You've got it. Give me four more right here. Four. Good. Three. Keep it up. Two. And one. Let's shake it out. We're going to now lift our knee to our chest in the center. So we're going to start slow. Knee to chest on the right. Knee to chest on the left. Good. Arms are coming up overhead. We like to keep those arms above the heart to get our heart rates up a little bit higher. Knee and down. So we're still working the core, still working our balance. And four more, and then we'll do double time. Four, good. Three, two, stand up nice and tall. Now double time, knee to chest. Pull it down, very nice. Good, keep breathing. You guys are doing so well. Good, stand up nice and tall. That knee does all the work by coming into the chest. Last four, good, three more, two, and one. And shake it out. Great job, everybody. All right, that concludes our standing work. We're going to be taking it to the mat next. So feel free to grab some water, towel off, and we'll see you in a few minutes. Thank you. Hey, guys, we are back, and we are now heading into our sixth interval, which will be down on the mat. We are going to be doing some side planks and some push-ups. So I'm going to be showing some modifications as well as ways to do it full out if you choose. Just listen to your body, take it at your own pace, and don't be afraid to modify if you need to. So we're going to start with a side plank. So your right knee is going to be resting down on your mat. Your left leg is going to be extended out to the side with both of your hips facing up towards the ceiling. Your right arm is going to come up. And this is for those that are doing this modified on your knees. If you're going to be on both feet out in a full plank, you're going to be on both toes on the floor. So your arm's gonna come up and we're just gonna bring our arms all the way around and then we're gonna come back up. We're gonna do eight of these and then we'll go to the other side. So everybody get ready. In four, three, two, here we go. So it's up and around. Good, up and around. Nice job, bring it all the way down. We're working the waistline and the core as well. And up, give me four more. And up. Three more. Good, we're gonna transition soon. Two more. And last one. And you're gonna bring that arm down and take it over to the right side. So now we're gonna twist over to the other side. The right arm is gonna be up. Here we go. You're gonna bring it all the way around and up. All the way around and up. Good job, all the way down. Squeezing that core and around, good. Give me four more. And down. Three more. Good. Last two. We're going to transition into push-ups next. Last one. And you're going to face down on your mat. And you can either be on the balls of your feet or your knees. We're going to do eight push-ups. Get ready. Here we go. Take it down for eight. Seven. Six. Good. Five. Four more, three, two, and one. Good job. Let's come down on our knees, take a rest for a second. Feel free to shake out your arms. Good job. Everyone's doing great. We're going to now do this once again. So catch your breath, get your bearings again, and we're going to go back into our side plank. Again, either on the knees or both feet out. So we're going to now go back to the left side, bring that left foot out. Good. Hips are facing front all the way up towards the ceiling. Right arm is up. You're either on your knees or on both feet. Get ready. Four, three, two. Here we go. Bring it all the way around and up. All the way down. Good job. Up. All the way. And up. And down. Good. Two more. Bring it down. Last one, we're gonna transition now. Take it down to your mat and take it over to the other side. Right arm is up, here we go. Bring it all the way around and up. Down and up, very nice. You guys are doing great. Really squeeze that core, get that arm up there. Good. And two more and we're gonna do eight push-ups. 
Last one, let's transition now back to the center on your knees or the balls of your feet. Here we go, eight push-ups to finish this off. Eight, and up, good. Seven, get that chest down towards the mat. Good, and up. Down, and up. Good, two more. Down, and up last time. And back up, good job. Bring your knees together and shake out those arms. Great job, everybody. That concludes our first mat segment. We're gonna be moving into our seventh interval soon. See you next time. Hey guys, we are heading into our seventh interval. We're gonna now hone in on our obliques, which are the sides of the core and the abdominal wall and the waistline. So we're gonna come up onto our knees. We're gonna extend our right leg out to the side, toe is pointed. We're gonna come down on our left palm of our hand and our, our right arm is gonna come up overhead. And you're just gonna pull in and out. Pointing that toe and bringing that knee into your elbow. Good. So you're reaching all the way up and over. Feel a nice stretch in that side body and then really pull that oblique in and feel the waistline contract as well. Good job. Pull it in and out. Good. Bring that knee up to your elbow rather than the other way around. Make the core and the waistline do all the work. You guys are doing great. Keep it up. Pull it in and out. Now double time right here. Every time, in. And you can keep that leg out. It doesn't have to touch the ground. Good. Pull it in. Eight more like this. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Good job. Two and one. Bring that knee down. And now we're going to take it to the other side. So up on your knees. Left leg comes out to the side. We're gonna come down on that right palm. Left arm is gonna reach up overhead. You're gonna pull it in and out. Good, knee to elbow. Squeezing the core, squeezing the glutes as well. Pull it in, good. Keep breathing, you guys. Keep that energy level going. We're way past the halfway point now of the workout. Good job. Couple more like this. Knee into the elbow, good. Pull it in and out. Four more like this. Four, good job. Three, we're gonna take this to double time. Here we go. Pull it in every time. Again, the leg doesn't have to touch the floor. Pull it in. Eight more like this. You guys can do this. Here's eight, seven, six, keep it up. Last four, three, two, and one. Good job, everybody. Let's shake it out. All right, we'll be heading into our eighth interval next. Stay tuned, keep working hard with us. All right, we are heading into our eighth interval. You guys are doing so great. We're gonna now focus on our hamstrings and our glutes. So we're gonna start by coming down onto our elbows. And we're gonna extend our right leg out to the side. And what you're gonna do is trace a half circle with your toe, and you're gonna come up and over. So that right leg starts, here we go. You're gonna take it up and over. Up and over. Up and over, good. So you're pointing that toe. You're keeping both of your hips square towards the mat. Good. And you're really using that foot to accentuate that half circle. Working the glutes and the hamstrings. You guys are doing great. Good, bring it all the way up and over. Up and over. Good, keep that leg straight. Extend all the way through your toes. Four more like this. Four, good. Three, two, and now let's get that leg up towards the ceiling. Face 90 degree angle up towards the ceiling and you're gonna point that toe and lift every time, little pulses up to the ceiling. Good, you're gonna really feel this in the right gluteus maximus. Good, keep lifting every time. You guys are doing great. Good, up and up. You're bending at the knee as you're doing this. Nice job. Give me eight more lifts like this. Here's eight, seven, six. Keep those hips square, last four, three, two, and one. Good job, bring that right knee in and extend that left leg out to the side, very nice. And now let's bring that leg up and over, pointing the toe. Here we go, lift it up and over, up 
and over. Good. Again, try to keep those hips square to the mat. I know it's hard, but we definitely want to do that to make sure that hip doesn't ride up. Good. Bring it up and over. Keep squeezing your core, squeezing your glutes. Great job, you guys. Keep it up. Good. Point that toe. Extend that leg. Clean half circles. Good. Couple more like this. Bring it up and over. You've got it. Last four. Good. Three, two, and now let's lift that leg up towards the ceiling, 90 degrees. Once again, point the toe, little pulses up. Here we go. Lift, lift every time. Nice job. Squeeze those glutes. You're gonna feel this in the hamstrings as well. Little pulses up and up. Good job, everybody. Keep squeezing, keep those hips square once again to your mat. Lift, lift, keep breathing through it. Nice job. You're gonna give me eight more. Here we go, last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, bring your legs down. Feel free to do a child's pose stretch just for a second. Catch your breath and come up. Nice job, everybody. All right, great work. We're gonna be heading into our ninth interval soon. So stay tuned and grab some water. All right, guys, we are heading into our ninth interval, our second to last one. We're gonna be focusing on some more traditional core work where we're going down for two counts and up for two counts, and then we'll be doing some Russian twists. So start by resting your hands behind your knees, get yourself situated, and your hands are just gonna reach out in front and you're gonna take it down for two and then up for two, arms overhead, down for two and up. So when you're coming down, your shoulder blades don't touch your mat. Good, and you're squeezing your core every time. Lift it down for two and up for two, good. Arms are straight overhead, couple more like this. Down, down, and up. Very nice, keep breathing through this. Keep squeezing that core to lift your body up off that mat. Good, couple more like this. Lift it up and up, down and down. One more. Now you're gonna come up and you're gonna be at about a 45 degree angle. We're gonna clasp our fists together and we're gonna do some Russian twists. We'll start slow first to the right. Take it right and left. Good. Right and left. Very nice. Your elbows are out and you're holding those hands out in front very intentionally to still work that upper body. Good. Take it left and right, good, nice twist. Left and right, couple more like this. Left and right, good job. We're gonna cut this movement in half a little bit faster. Left and right, good, little twist. You're really gonna feel this in the obliques and the waistline. Nice job, everyone. Left and right, keep twisting, keep breathing. Eight more like this, here's eight. Seven, six, and five. We're gonna go back to up, up, down, down. After this, last two, and one. Here we go. Lift it up for two, and down for two. Up, good, and down. Couple more. Lift, and lower. Good, keep that breath flowing. Keep squeezing that core. Lift. And lower, a couple more. Lift, two more like this. And then our last set of Russian twists are next. And last one, up, up, and down. Come back up, 45 degrees, hands together. Starting to the right, slow first. Take it right and left, good. Right and left, nice clean twist. Right and left, good. And we're gonna cut this movement in half. Double time right here, right and left. Good, twisting every time. Good, keep squeezing. You guys are doing great, we're almost done. Give me four more like this. Here's four, good. Three, and twist, two, and last one. Good job, guys, come up. 
Woo, catch your breath. Great work, everybody. We are gonna head into our final interval next, so stay tuned, grab some water, and we'll see you in a few. All right, guys, we are heading into our final interval, interval number 10. You guys have been doing so awesome through this whole workout. We're gonna end with some bridges. So I want everybody to grab a mat and you're just gonna lay back and make sure that your head and neck are fully supported on your mat. Your knees and toes are together, feet are together, and your hands are resting at your side. We're then going to use our core and our hips and pelvis and hamstrings to lift up towards the ceiling. We're gonna start with single time and then we'll add on some additional tempos. So get ready in four, three, two, here we go. You're gonna lift up, and down, good. So lift everything up towards the ceiling. You're gonna feel this in the core, the glutes and the hamstrings. Your lower body is really doing all the work here. Good job. Keep squeezing every time up. Give that upper body a little bit of a break. Good job, lift it up and down. Keep breathing through this and squeeze and lower. Good job. Couple more like this. Four more at this tempo. Here's four, three. We're gonna go up for two, down for two next. Here we go. You're gonna take it up for two and then down for two. You're not really resting for very long on the ground, so try to just keep that momentum and go right up for two. Good. You're gonna really start to feel this. Again, embrace that fatigue if you can. Take it up and up. Keep squeezing the core as well, especially on the way up. Good job, and down for two. Lift, lift, and down. One more like this, up. And now we're gonna just pulse it up towards the ceiling every time, lift, lift. Good job, everybody. Keep lifting, keep pressing. Keep squeezing that core to protect your back. Nice job, lift it up, up. Couple more like this. Here's eight, seven, six, five. Last four three, back to single time. Take it down and up. Very nice. Keep it up, you guys. You're doing great. We're almost there. I can see the finish line, so keep going. Give me everything you've got. Down and up. Good job. Couple more like this. Here's four. Lift, three. Nice job. Two. And down for two, up for two. Down and down. Lift it up and up, good. Keep going, keep that breath flowing. Couple more like this, lift for two, good. And lower, take it up. Couple more, here we go. Lift up, up, and down, and down. Last one at this pace, we're gonna finish this off. Give me eight more pulses up to the ceiling. Eight, seven, six, five. You've got this, four more, three, Two and one, slowly come down, very nice. Great job everybody, that completes our last interval. We are now gonna be heading into our cool down and stretch next, so I will see you soon, great work. All right, you guys worked so hard today. I'm so proud of all of you and proud of all of you here today. So we're gonna now lie down and I want you to rest your hands at your sides and we're gonna do a little bit of belly breathing. So when you inhale through your nose, I want you to expand your belly outward and then I want you to then pull the belly in when you exhale through your mouth. So let's just do that for a few seconds on our own. Inhaling, expanding that belly, getting lots of oxygen flowing through the body and then blowing it out and then pulling that belly in. So inhaling and exhaling. So just keep breathing for a few more seconds. Good job. Couple more. Nice deep breaths, calming your body down, cooling down after all that intense work. And last breath, make a count and blow it out. Good job. So I want you to bring your knees together, bring your heels towards your body and slowly roll up. Grab hold of the back of your knees and then extend your legs forward and reach for your toes, your calves, your ankles, whichever feels most comfortable to you. And feel a nice stretch in the back of the leg and the hamstrings. 
very nice. And hold it here for a couple more seconds. Good job. And then we're gonna cross our right leg over our left and we're gonna do a little bit of a spine twist. So pull that left elbow over and turn towards the back of the room. Very nice. Hold it here. Good, and let's come back to the front. Bring that right leg down and now cross your left leg over your right and then turn and twist over to the left. Good. Pulling that elbow over your left knee. And hold it here for a couple more seconds. Good job, and let's come back to the front and you're gonna bring the bottoms of your feet together into a butterfly stretch. So I want you to grab hold of your feet and using your elbows, pull your knees down towards the ground and feel a nice stretch in the inner thigh. Open up those hips and just go down as far as your body feels comfortable. Take it at your own pace. Good job, hold it here. Couple more seconds. Very nice. Let's bring our knees together and you're gonna come forward on your mat on all fours and we're gonna bring our right leg back into a runner stretch. So just make sure that your front knee doesn't come over your toe and make sure your hips are square to the mat and you can either drop that, that back knee or extend it, whatever feels more comfortable. And then you're gonna bring that left arm up and you're gonna open your chest and rotate your shoulders. Very nice. Hold it here, looking up towards the ceiling. And let's bring that arm down. Bring that right foot to meet your left foot. And then you're gonna bring that left foot back into a nice runner stretch. Again, watching that knee, making sure that it's not coming over your toe. Squeezing your core as well for balance. And then now let's bring that right arm up towards the ceiling and feel that rotation on the other side. Good job. Open up your chest and hold it here. And bring that arm down, bring your feet together and you're gonna roll up one vertebrae at a time. Your head and neck are gonna come up last. And we're gonna do a shoulder roll at the top. Good. Big shoulder rolls. Give me two more. And you're gonna bring your knees into your chest just as we did in the warm up. So bring the right knee and the left knee. Good. And the right knee and the left. Give me two more. Just open up the hips. And last one. Good job. And now let's bring that right heel back, keeping your knees together, keep that standing leg bent. Your left arm is gonna come up overhead, hold it here. Good job. And then take a bow forward if you'd like, or you can stay where you are. Good, hold it. Tuck in that core for balance. And let's come back up slowly. And bring that right leg down. And now bring your left heel up, knees together. Right arm up overhead, bend that standing leg once again, and take it forward. Good job. And bring it back up. And give me a big inhale up. And exhale down. Two more, big inhale up, bend those knees. And exhale down, and your last one, your biggest one yet. And exhale down. Thank you so much, everybody. You did such a great job. We had so much fun working out with you today. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Tell your friends, like or comment or share this video. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great day and thank you from Passion Fit. Woo! Good job. Woo!